Coins and beer, big coins and beer. Here is Norm, he's a storm, has a scrims and rage and rants. He is here drinking beer. Don't put coins on his pants. Hello, it's me, Norm again. Here once again to drink beer and rant about big coins. And I realize it's. The video is kind of darker, probably. Uh, The beer is Torpedo, even though you can't see it because I don't have my key light on. I just thought it'd be cooler like that, but who knows. Sierra Nevada Torpedo. I already opened it. Been drinking it for a while. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about not so much about Bitcoin, but the economy. Bitcoin is an honest system, okay? Our economy is not an honest system. Our economy is completely not an honest system. Believe it or not. It is so dishonest. That they, the players won't play unless they can't cheat. That screws me and you. It, it screws me and you. The reason why I'm so fanatic, you know, a lot of questions I get. One of the questions I get is why am I so fanatical about Bitcoin? It's not a, like a religion that you have to be fanatical about. Or anything else like, or a sports team, or anything like that. Have you ever heard of anybody being fanatical about like a fucking bank? Have you? Really? Once you start going down that fucking rabbit hole of Bitcoin, you realize people are saying our system's not broken. Why fix it? Well, once you start going down that rabbit hole of Bitcoin, you realize our system is fucking broken so bad. It's beyond repair. It's like taking a car to a mechanic and asking him to fix it after it's been in a wreck. And he's like going, you have to tow it. You're tolling. Gotta take a loss. You're tolling the fucking car. <clears throat> China. I talked about China before. Stock market crashed today. Because they are trying to follow our way, which they believe is capitalism. But our way is not capitalism. And I'll explain that later. <coughs> China is totally communist. Communist country. They're going to take the communist way out. Which means... Seizing all assets, and they've they've already stopped people from trading in their market. They've already tried all this stuff, the cap, the communist way. Well, the socialist way, actually. But they're going to do the capitalist thing, and when the economist says, "Well," On one hand, we can do this. And on the other hand, they just got to chop off the fucking other hand because it's full of bullshit they're going to throw at them and they don't want them to do that. So they're going to take out their samurai sword, chop off the fucking other hand. All right? That's what China's going to do. And they're going to seize the government... Because of capitalism, or communism, 
sorry. It's communism. So they're going to seize those companies. Chop off the uh, economist's hand. Because that's what they do there. And keep them from throwing the bullshit at them. Then Europe. Then Europe's going to fall. It's going to happen within the next four or five months. Europe's going to fall. Either one of the pigs are going to pull out, or most of them go pull the fucking bottom out from all under them. I told you, the pigs are like, uh, you know, uh, cacks, a stack can, cans in the grocery store. If someone pulls out something from the bottom, herb cleanup on aisle three. And, oh, uh, it's got to be ugly. But Herb's got to clean it up. Don't worry about it. That's why the news isn't reporting about it, because they depend on Herb cleaning it up. Unless, you know, the top can pulls out, Germany, and leaves the Euro first, and you unstack the cans. You know, as long as none of the pigs pull out, it can be stabilized, but if they don't pull out, either one of the pigs are going to pull out, or it's going to capsize. And so what's going to happen? And Germany's got to take a hit either way. This is divorce, and their wife's going to take everything. Yeah, I, I, I have fucking no idea. I'm not an economist. I'm just a fucking drunk idiot. So don't listen to me. But, you're saying, I know what you're saying. You're saying, what does this have to do with the price of tea in China? Or the uh, economy in China? Next time you're in fucking Walmart, read in the back where the fucking thing's made. Oh, China. Think about what it's going to do to you. Think about how many Chinese companies are on our NASDAQ. Yeah, but, you know, if you're in the uh, iPhone factory making iPhones... Polishing the glass, whatever the fuck you do. You get tired of it? Just go up to the top of the roof. Take a nap in one of the hammocks they have up there. For people trying to throw themselves off. Because they fucking are all tired of making parts for the iPhone. It's going to hit our economy eventually. Probably not until the fall, because that's that. Yeah, if you read the uh, history. You, oh, you know that thing called the history? That's when things hit our economy. The fall. And then... We are all going. We're all gonna be put in a hand basket and not told where we're going. We're gonna be going to someplace sinners go. I'm not talking about like Vegas because the odds are much better in Vegas than um, Wall Street. But you, you know what happens in Vegas? Stay there. Not really. You can leave Vegas. You, just your money can't. When your money goes to Vegas, it stays there. Odds are much better in Wall Street, though. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm just a fucking drunk idiot, aren't I? Yeah, probably. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a swami with a crystal ball. 
and turban. I don't know anything. <laughs> all I know is July, and all I know is September is going to be bad. Because I might be kind of a weatherman. Weathermen can't tell the truth. They just forecast it, don't they? I see what's happening in China. And the presidency in China is going to fucking go through the roof. Not to mention what's to happen with the price of oil. Watch the movie Rollover. What Henry Kissinger tried to do in, in Nixon's administration. Brilliant idea. Uh, no, I, I have to agree. It's a brilliant idea. It took us off the gold standard. A standard that was the... Buy some money for I don't know, thousands of years. Took Dr. King's advice. A very Dr. King um King's in economics is very new. So it's still kind of an experiment. It's still in beta mode. I don't know. I had no idea. I'm just a fucking drunk idiot. That is observing the state of the economy. Cheers. It's toasty saved, it's toasty earned. Treat it like copper. Silver or gold. Cheers.